Uh, so now let us do something else. This wasn't supposed to be title. I'm going to provide leading for this. And the difference is uh, when you have title and leading, leading will be at the left side of the left leftmost side or the most left side, whatever. But leading will be to the left and uh, title will be kind of to the middle. Uh, so you'll understand in a second why I did that. Because here for the title, I'm going to give new row. And for the row, I'm going to provide, mm, what is it going to be? Let us use to expand, exp oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. First, I have to give children widget. Then here, I'm going to give expanded widget, meaning that it's supposed to take up all of the space available in that ro par particular row. And inside of this, I'm going to give text. You can give new. The new keyword is optional, but I like to use it because the IDE helps me more when I use it. That's why. New, I'm going to give here. Widget. Dot. Old price. And I have a problem, but I know what's the problem. Product details old price. The problem here is that I was supposed to do this child. Okay. So I'll just copy this. Paste it here. And I'm going to give dot product details new price. And if I control save this. This is so scary. Okay, but the problem is simple here. This is defined as int, and, and here I'm giving it as a, a string. So we're just supposed to do this. We're just supposed to do. Let me just remove this. I'll do something like this and something like that. And we'll paste it. Oh, I may need to do this. And I'll close this stuff here. Okay. For that, I'll just copy this. And I'll come down here, I'll paste it. Let us give some space. Mm, delete here and just write product new price. Control save it. Ta-da! It's working as it was supposed to. Okay. So I guess that we're starting to get the design we want. Mm, what else can I do here? Let us give some style to this stuff. We can first off come here to these and we'll provide your style. And here we can give we can give text style. Let's start with the font. Okay. Font weight. And I'm going to give a font weight dot bold control save it as you see here we'll have this bold I don't know if the size is good if you want to we can do something like this font size and I'm going to give uh, let's try 16 Point zero. Okay, it's big enough, I guess. And for the second one, we are supposed to give style as well. And I'm going to give this first 
of we can give okay text style we can give it a style of start with the color let's try to give it a gray colors dot gray and here we can still give decoration and how does it work I guess is uh, I'm forgetting something decoration dot no 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 I'm trying to put a line into this text decoration oh 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 okay this can happen sometimes when you forget how but since we are not machines let's just go back to our front page if I'm not mistaking I have this on my product and for the products we have here what do you want this is what we want text decoration dot line true this is what I'm trying to do oh uh, so I'm supposed to delete this text decoration line 2 this is what I want let's control save this okay I hope it's visible enough let us put a dollar sign in front of this so to do that you will use a backslash dollar sign control save it good enough uh, let us come down here do the same thing if you don't use the dollar the backslash is going it, it's not going to work properly it's going to give you an error so when you're using let us try first you see you have this error here why is it so because the dollar sign is a predefined character and if you want to use it in another way other than the predefined you use the backslash it's kind of to invalidate the symbol okay so anyhow um, okay I will now do style oops style text style and I'll just need to do font I will do font bold and I'll do color then I'll do colors dot let us give a red for this one Tada! and you're starting to have something nice uh, I still want to change something let, let me treat let me give it a white 70 so we can oh uh, not not here not here I'm supposed to give it here okay let us give it a nine white 70 so we can get this kind of transparent background if I may or if you wish you can just give it white and cut the image off but okay I'll just leave this like that uh, so now what next uh, let us add something uh, we'll come over here we have the container and then down here I'm going to have a row and inside of that row I'm going to have children and inside of the children I'm going to have expanded and inside of this expanded, expanded, I'll have a child of material 
button on press I'll not define just now and then down here okay we can define like the color for this it's going to be white of course color dot white and you're going to define the text color and we're going to give colors dot gray and after this I will do child and inside of here again I'm going to use a row and inside of this row again I'm going to use children again expanded and here I'm going to give new text size I always forget to do this right child child okay and here I'm going to do I'll copy this I'll paste it here and instead of of this text I'm going to give a new icon icons dot I need the arrow pointing down an arrow And we have what we want here size. Uh, I will just reduce the elevation to elevation. I'll give it 0 0.2, something like that. Okay, size. Uh, I will just come over here. Let us comment so it will be easier for us to access this stuff later on. first buttons okay and here I'm going to give the size button And I do this equal, equal, equal just to catch my attention when I'm looking for it. Uh, then let me copy this stuff here and I will just paste it three times paste paste oops 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 what did I do and I have the code indented if I control save this this is what we have here size 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 but here we want a color and here we want quantity okay let me try to quantity it's way too long of a word so i'll just write this okay uh for now i guess we can stop here and afterwards we can do something like uh, when I click on these I get an alert so I can pick the size of the item the color the quantity of the item do it okay or oh, if you still want a bonus we can like do something out of this like we can try doing something more if you think the video was too short they took too long to upload and 
I have to do something else. Let me try to. Let me try to make you guys happy by copying this stuff. And if you if you if, if you see, since you get the hang of it, it's kind of doing the same thing. Most of the time, at least at the design stage, it's kind of repetitive. That's why I just copy this stuff above and I paste and I do some modifications. And it's a good thing to do if you just want to have some time, I guess. Okay, here we can delete both of these. I'm not going to be needing it on this section. So let me just delete it. Here I'll write the second button. Okay, for this guy, I'm going to give colors. Of course, I need it red. And I'm going to give text color. Of course, I need it white. And I'm going to give what else? Uh, for the child, instead of a row, let us do new oh, oh, oops new text by now. So now we have the buy button. Wow. But let us do something else here where we're going to create a new icon button and for the buttons we're going to give icon icons dot favorite let me see if I can do okay I cannot okay so I have to do icon then icons dot Oh, what's the name of that icon? This one to add to cart to make it possible for our users to add the item to the cart. And what else? What else? What else should I put here? Okay, give him the option to like it. Oh, uh, so I'll just do oops. So I'll just do this. I'll paste it. Favorite border. Uh, but we'll give the colors of color colors dot red. And here we're going to do the same thing. Color. Colors dot red. So here you have it. Our basic design is done. I'll try to leave the link on this particular video. Uh, what else? For the next video, we'll create some alert alerts by clicking on those and maybe uh, keep on editing this section or this particular page. Just for testing purpose, you can go and open another image and it's working perfectly. So I guess it's fine. See you guys on the next one. If you enjoyed, you know, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment. See you on the next one.